Hello and welcome to World Cup Dish Out. I'm your host, Neil Shah, and I'm happy to be here with our seasoned sports presenter, RK. How are you doing? All good. All good. Good, good. So let's jump right in. We're going to be talking about something that everyone loves to talk about, golden boot. Yeah. So we're 17 games in. Uh, most teams have just played one, a couple have played two. And sitting at the top of the table, we have a Portuguese, which many expected, and a Russian, which not a lot of people expected. Um, but there's many other names uh, you know, on that list sitting at uh, two goals as well. Um, I know it's pretty early in the, in the tournament. We have many more m matches to go. But what are you seeing? What are you feeling? How do you feel like this, um, the competition is going when it comes to the, the leading goal scorer of the tournament? I think uh, when it comes to the leading goal scorers, you, you obviously quite rightly spoke about uh, Ronaldo. I mean, he's, he's done incredibly well. I think what goes in favor of Ronaldo is the fact that, look, for all you know, this has got to be his last World Cup, right? Let's, be, let's not kid ourselves. Even mm -hmm. if he says, I'm going to play on till 45 or whatnot and stuff, it's got to be there, yeah. right, with respect to Ronaldo. So that's one. And also the kind of goals that he scored against a side that is brilliant, right, mm -hmm. in Spain. So that should give him enormous amount of confidence. Not that he lacks confidence, but the fact is he started off the tournament so very well, mm -hmm. right, against a very tough opposition. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's what I think has, uh, is going to hold him in good stead. So mm -hmm. that's with respect to, say, somebody like uh, Ronaldo. But when you're talking about uh, Cherishev, right, mm -hmm. so you quite rightly spoke about Russian uh, topping the charts. Honestly, I never expected Russia to score the number of goals mm -hmm. that have done to, so far. But having said that, They've had two games, uh, not against the greatest of opposition, mm -hmm. with due respects to what uh, Saudi Arabia are all about or what Egypt are all about. Because mm -hmm. we did not see Mo Salah, the kind of Mo Salah that we are used to seeing mm -hmm. in, uh, in, at Anfield, right? Yeah. So, so it's, it's completely different. So I think the tougher test awaits Russia. I would be interested in seeing how Russia go against an Uruguayan side, which is a very well-oiled machine. Mm -hmm. And obviously, they've gotten through the next stage of the competition is Russia. Therefore, they've got sterner tests. For all you know, they could be uh, meeting a Spain or a Portugal. Or if Iran is able to upset somebody from here on again, mm -hmm. maybe at the expense of Spain or Portugal, and Iran can come in and play up against Russia. So that's yeah. going to be equally difficult. And Cherishev, what's also interesting is the fact, to give him credit, he's been a couple of seasons in La Liga. He hasn't uh, done much. I think he's scored just a couple of goals. Strictly in terms of goals, he's just scored mm -hmm. a couple of goals. And in 11 games for Russia, he hasn't slotted even one mm -hmm. at the back of the net. Therefore, it's a huge surprise for Russia that he has come ahead and done the job as far as uh, the Russians are concerned. Absolutely. So then you, you go down that list, you look at world-class players like Harry Kane, or you have Lukaku, or you have Diego Costa. You have big, big names that are just at, sitting at two and, um, you know, the number of big matches coming up uh, with the rest of the group stage. Who do you feel like is going to rise up out of that, uh, that second level group and get, get up to, uh, you know, get up to where Cristiano is right now? Yeah, I, I think when you talk about Harry Kane or when you talk about uh, Romelu Lukaku, mm -hmm. I think they are vastly different players to the ones that we saw a couple of seasons earlier. Uh, you know, from the last World Cup or however, want you, however well you want to reference it, however, mm -hmm. however you might want to reference that. Because I think just as we speak about, say, a Ronaldo and a Messi, mm -hmm. in terms of this being uh, the final World Cup for both these superstars possibly, you, you've got to look at where Harry Kane where, uh, was uh, when England played the last World Cup mm -hmm. or where uh, Lukaku was. Harry Kane is, uh, obviously he signed a long-term deal with uh, Tottenham Hotspur, mm -hmm. but the fact of the matter is there were rumours that he's wanted so very strongly by Real Madrid. Yeah. So his stocks have risen enormously and he has scored plenty of goals yeah. in uh, the English Premier League in England per se. Uh, similarly, with respect to Romelu Lukaku, he was with Everton mm -hmm. at one point in time. So Everton, yeah, it's, it's a big club, but it is not Manchester United. It's yeah. not as though... Uh, he has come to a massive club and he has done the job for, uh, you know, such a massive club. I think the last season with Manchester United wasn't bad by any stretch of imagination. He's got a coach who trusts him now, Jose Mourinho. So he said that he's my warrior who goes there and does the job. So in terms of the confidence level, you could see the way he was playing uh, mm -hmm. for Belgium in that yeah. opening encounter. He, he scored a couple yeah. of goals. And... In the first 15-20 minutes, I think he had just about two touches of the football. Mm -hmm. So, he knows how to go through those periods of game mm -hmm. without getting too frustrated. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, you've got the likes of Kevin De Bruyne, you've got yes. the likes of Mertens, you've yep. got uh, you know, plenty of guys who are in and around him who are able to feed him. But even when such 
classy players, Hazard, I mean, how can I miss him, are unable to feed him. He knows he can buy his time. Mm -hmm. And he came back very strongly. So that's, what, that's why I believe they are completely different players is Harry Kane, completely different player now is Romelu Lukaku. Great. And then you look down, you go look at a lot of these names that are just coming up, Lozano, that's there. I mean, that's a player that, uh, young player, but scored a great goal against Germany and anything is possible. Do you see other names that maybe aren't on that, that, uh, that everyone's initial list of potential Golden Boot winners, but some surprise that might come up through the, uh, the ranks? I, I think uh, Mexico with the pace mm -hmm. that they displayed against Germany mm -hmm. was very, very interesting. And that's, that's where I think, uh, I mean, depends on how far Mexico can go. I mean, yeah. that, that's, that's always uh, going to be the case. I mean, you remember 2014, if somebody like Hamish Hamas, Rodriguez yes. is going to, uh, you know, score a bucket full of goals, mm -hmm. doesn't matter what happens, if he's going to be there for a you know, few weeks, yeah. is, is somebody is going to dominate proceedings, right? So, I mean, so in that sense, I would ideally want Mexico to go further in the tournament, but mm -hmm. the passage is not going to be easy because the round of 16 is going to be a completely different ball game yeah. if and when they're going to get there. So, yeah, there is an opportunity, but you would try and you would think it's the more fancied names mm -hmm. that you would want to. And let's not forget, France haven't hit the ground running yes. just yet. You've got Griezmann. the likes of Griezmann who mm -hmm. can turn it on at some point Hard in time. Uh, you know, Rashford, we haven't seen Rashford at all. Who knows if... Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Gareth Southgate is going to bring in a Rashford, perhaps not play Sterling because it's not a system that is very, very suited to Raheem Sterling. Mm -hmm. So if he's going to introduce Rashford, maybe Rashford can light up this tournament. You never know. You never know which, uh, which mm -hmm. way things are. And, and Germany, they've lost mm -hmm. the first game. Mm -hmm. Müller, would you want to see him scoring goals? Would we see him scoring goals all over again? Because they've got to start scoring goals and plenty if they've got to win a few games of football now. Absolutely. The possibilities are endless. Number of big names in this 2018 FIFA World Cup. It's three goals are at the top right now. It could go any way. Uh, a week from now, we could be having a totally different conversation. Messi. So, uh, and I'm excited to have that conversation. Yeah, Messi, Sergio yeah. Cunaguero is there. Yeah. A whole load of players. And hopefully we'll, we're speaking about the next time is Rodriguez or somebody that was not part of that list, but is just coming up. I hope it's an Icelandic player, to be honest. I think that'd be incredible for football, incredible for uh, the country as well and uh, the World Cup. Let's uh, stop right there, but um, we'll be back soon. Keep watching Sports Kita and uh, look forward to coming back at you with more World Cup dish out.